Hello guys, what's up? It's Total Eclipse here, and today we have a new video by the request of Vesin Geterix. Now, I hope I've said your name correctly. Um, could you do one showing the routing around these plants? I struggle with getting conveyors to and from my manufacturing clusters. Well, yes, I can, and today I'll be showing you a few of my favourite ways to do it. But before we jump in, if you guys find this video helpful, be sure to hit the thumbs up, and if you enjoy these types of videos and guides, be sure to hit the subscribe button, especially seeing as we've got the 1000 subscribers community giveaway coming up this week. With that out of the way though, let's jump straight in. So when transporting items in your base or to a base, you're generally going to be using either a vehicle or a bus. And I wanted to talk about, in particular, buses for now. So we're going to jump down and have a look at these. Um, the first one that we have is um, the ability to run a bus either underground or above the factory, and then as and when required, just pulling it down into a here or from a different room, bring it to here and then taking it to the factory. This is uh, a nice way to do it. It's clean, It's it takes a lot of planning. So actually being aware of where you want the items. There are also two um, other ones, well, three other ones I'd say. Second one is just a single conveyor line. I like to have mine above and then delete these, um, the majority of the poles, simply because then I can actually drive vehicles around without any issue. I'll leave that. Many people uh, recommend using buses. Um, I don't see the point of it really, because you're just storing items, but you are able to fit a lot of items in a, a relatively small space and it can buffer up so it's not going to slow down and bottleneck. Uh, the other way that we do it, I tend to use conveyors pretty much all the time and I would do a bus a bit like this or maybe using the walls and just running as many conveyors down the actual path as possible. And here we have another example of how you can split the items off which is using the conveyor belt uh, lifts which is a really nice way and it's actually really useful especially if you've got uh, conveyors coming from below or above from quite far away because you can actually save a lot of room. Now the other thing that we need to talk about is vehicles. You can actually have vehicles both for long distance transportation or vehicles inside a factory as I will show you in a second. But one thing to point out is they are generally less efficient than the conveyor counterparts for the time being. And one last thing that you should think about for your builds is actually keeping space free. <laughs> I don't know why I'm pointing at blank foundations for when the trains come out for our next update, hopefully at the end of June. Um, so those are all ways in which you can transport items to your factories and more specifically this one and this one as well as the one at the end are great ways in which you can route 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 the items to your factory manufacturing um, easily. Now an important thing to note is ideally you want to ensure that you have the exact amount of items on the belt for your factory to to save it from bottlenecking which you can do through overclocking and underclocking your various structures. Also, for each manufacturing process, you should try to have the inputs all coming in from one direction and like a one-way road, leaving in the other. Or at least if it's splitting to two other manufacturers, then you can have it in two different locations. Uh, another interesting but slightly less efficient way in which you can run these items, route them through your factory, is to use vehicles. Now take this for example, I've just built a manufacturing plant that let's say it's going to be producing cables, which can feed the finished product to the truck stop, which you see here, or multiple stops, depending on how big the factory is, which are then collected by a vehicle 
on a closed loop. And this is so that it doesn't hit other vehicles or bang into other things, maybe you're walking away. And by doing so, it drops them off at the next factory without any issues. Now, it may be slightly less inefficient, but this way does look really cool. Just don't forget to feed the, the truck stops with fuel. Oh, and don't worry, I will be doing a video on how this works pretty soon. Now, whilst this covers the approaches I take in my factories, there are times when you may need to be using vehicles or a single conveyor to transport multiple different items. Now, if this is the case, then you will also need to set up a sorter which requires smart splitters or programmable splitters in order to decrease the organization time. Now, you're going to want this at the very entrance of your factory, your first port of call for these items. I personally try to split and use multiple lanes at once to sort all the items, such as you can see here. And as the items are ciphered off into their given sections, they are actually collected into a storage container ready for their next point of call. Now, one last note, depending on the style of factory, you could also use a circuit for items, such as here. So. This is where I use a smart splitter and a merger followed by three storage units as buffers. Now this is one way in which you can create a switch and will allow you to switch which items are being transported on a particular bus in case you choose to swap your factory's production. So there you are. Now I hope that helped you solve your issues, uh, Vesin Geterix. And thank you very much for asking the question. Now if you guys did find this video helpful or useful in any way, then be sure to click that thumbs up button as it does help others find the video. And also don't forget to subscribe to be part of the growing community here and take part in our 1K subscriber giveaway. As always, I'll be posting regular videos on Satisfactory and we are running a stream every Sunday, so I hope to see you guys there. Anyway, until next time, ciao for now.